Hi Oxford Tears. It's Chris here. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> it's me, it's not Chris. I'll just sit him back over here. There we go. Chris is actually, uh, he's on leave still at the moment, so he's not in the office. He'll be back next Wednesday. So hopefully next Wednesday when we do another update, it'll be Chris's mug on this video, not mine. Uh, which you'll be happy about. So we've got some news for you, a few things to talk about. The first one, and it's, it's, it's really exciting news because this is a historic day in the life of the church. I want to show you something. This is just fresh off the printer. The Certificate of Incorporation for Kanuka, Kanuka Hope Still Limited. Kanuka Hope Still Limited is the charitable company which we agreed to incorporate to, to start up to manage all of the facilities and things going on here with uh, our church and to, to all of the, the commercial and entrepreneurial ideas that, that come into fruition that this company is going to be looking after. So this is a historic day and hopefully in the years to come, when the history books are written about this church, uh, they'll remember the 1st of July 2020 uh, as a f very important day in the life of what we are doing as part of God's kingdom. The second piece of news is that there is a house for rent that the church has been renting for the last uh, number of months. It's available to rent. It's a three-bedroom home and it's on Chester Street East, which is the road just behind us. I actually live on Chester Street East, so you could be kind of a neighbour for me if you or anyone you know needs a place to rent and would like to live right in the heart of uh, what we're doing here at Oxford Terrace, then let the office know and we'll um, put you in the right direction. Okay, uh, some more serious news. As you should be aware, over the weekend there was a youth camp out at Glenroy Lodge and over on the way out to to the campsite, the church van, which has been driven by one of our youth leaders and had a number of youth in the van, had an accident. Now, fortunately, there were no injuries from that accident. And we give thanks to God for his provision and protection during that uh, incident, that accident that the, the van had. Now, unfortunately, the, the van is worse for wears, and we're going to have to find a replacement for that. But in the grand scheme of things, then that's not a that's not a biggie. But but we are just really thankful that thankful to God that no one was was hurt. There were no serious injuries, and uh, the youth leadership team they did a remarkable job checking up on all the youth over the weekend, letting the parents know what had happened. Uh, Priscilla, as I speak, is putting together a letter to send to parents. Uh, with just a bit more information about what happened and some of the, the, the changes to transport policies and things that will happen as a result. Finally, as we look ahead to this Sunday, we are continuing our series from First Peter, uh, the Light in Exile series, and we're going to be at the next point along the way, uh, which is the first 10 verses of chapter 2 of First Peter. And I thought I'd give you a bit of a sneak peek at uh, that sermon. Uh, I'm going to read you one of the verses which will be preached from. It's verse 9, and it goes like this. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness and into his marvellous light. And maybe those words are for you today to, to be reminded that you are chosen by God, that you are part of his priesthood. And as Baptists, we don't have priests. We don't have a, a, a priest-laity divide. We are a priesthood of all believers, and we are all chosen by God for that task of proclaiming the great and mighty works of God. So uh, just remember that as, uh, as you go about the rest of your week. So coming up on Sunday, we'll continue that series. We're also going to take communion. It's a communion Sunday. We give thanks to God that we don't have to have any of the, 
the restrictions that we have had on doing communion, we were able to pass the plate around, pass the cups around and, and take uh, communion to share in the invitation of Jesus to join him at the table. It will also be the last Sunday before the school holiday starts. Uh, so it'll be the last Sunday of Children's Church for the 11 o'clock and 2 p.m. congregations. Uh, then there'll be a couple of weeks where there's no program to give a bit of time for the volunteers to have a rest. So, uh, yeah, that's what's coming up this week. And, uh, yeah, next week, as I said, that guy will be giving this message, hopefully. And you won't have to see anything of me. Take care. We'll see you on Sunday.